This is what people say. Oh, it's not about the money. It's about family, Wes. It's about this, about that. Motherfucker, when you're making money, it's about the money. When it's family, it's about family. When you're at the gym, it's about muscle. Whatever you're doing, it's about that. There's no black and white life. It's the gray area. You have to be good at everything. That's the goal, to really excel in every area. Uh, scripture tells us that a man, a fool, and his money will depart ways. So if, if you choose to, if a person chooses to ignore something that somebody else has said, that some, another grown man says to a grown man, then that's on that person. I, I don't, well, I don't that's think it's fine. I don't, I don't man, think there's anything wrong. Wait, wait, with wait, 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 wait. You see the difference? If if I'm using Jr. again, if Jr. says, you know what, thanks but no thanks, that would match what you were saying. What Wes said was, get the f out my face. You see the difference? I mean, it's the same. It's saying the same shit. Right, I'm, but, I'm, gonna but, to, I'm gonna play a little bit more of the clip in there. Maybe get a bit more context. Go ahead, Biz. Finish up, and then I will play. Yeah, so uh, what what I was going to say with with this West guy, this is my first time seeing him. And just from how how it is that he's approaching and delivering on the stage, I can already kind of tell what type of personality he is, especially with the example that you gave, Kenny. Um, this guy, uh, and I, I hear what everyone is saying, especially Louise, but this guy um, essentially is somebody that, that appears to live off of social media. A, a lot of the shit that he does is somewhat for clout. Now, I think that his message is important because we do have a lot of men nowadays that we see widely on the internet that blame other people for their own downfalls. So if I, I think that the message that he's given carries a lot of weight and only, uh, what one would deem as a weak-minded person would take it in a in a way where it's demeaning to them much rather than motivating them one one thing in the gym when you're in the gym uh and especially somebody that that that's like him because I, I can only assume that he juicing that he you know what i'm saying that he uh taking tests or something but when you're in the gym you talking shit you're extremely aggressive uh in in and a person like him, he's going to the extreme. So you you have extremists, you have uh, people that are content with being um, average or middle class, mediocre, whatever the case may be, and that's totally fine. But I think if you're one of those people that that's on the internet, you're complaining, you hating on somebody. Oh, why, how he get that? Uh, he he he's such and such. Um, I think that that's that that message is absolutely uh, needed for those type of people because shit, it keeps motherfuckers in their place. It does not. I don't hugely, fit no fucking study. It does bro. not hugely improve a person's life. Are you proud of who the fuck bro, you are? Why? Why? why well, look at. Are you proud? Yes. If you look in the mirror, would you guys say this motherfucker's proud of who the fuck he is? That's a bag of trash, dude. Pull your fucking shirt because off. Because I've been. Tell me you're fucking proud because of Because I've been to fucking prison. Jesus Christ. Because look I've been at to you, prison. Bro. You got 10 inch arms and tits. <laughs> well, well, well. JR, you are a master moderator. How about that? <laughs> How about that? <laughs> All that. And this guy is freaking miserable. Miserable. I guarantee you that that guy with tits is a lot happier and is living a much more fulfilled life than that dude with the muscles man with Wes whatever how can like you guarantee he, he that? is miserable bro no, he's miserable uh, how, how, yeah, can you even let these, how can you let these dudes even knock you off your square why are you getting the emotional on stage you talking about you want to fight dude and all of that how are these little peons these people who don't mean anything these people don't have anything able to knock you off your damn square you see the dude with the tits composed stoic able to get his point across and this guy acting like a little bitch all emotional he is miserable. Look at him. This is, and, and that's why I say this is not for everybody. Your life can be fulfilled in many different ways. You have to do what's great for you. And if that's what you want in life, then you go for it. But this guy is still miserable as hell. And he has everything that he thought that he would want. And he still sucks at life. That's the problem. I think the yeah. dude is doing amazing. And I think, I think the things he said out of his mouth wasn't, uh, I don't think he was, um, I guess you get overreact, overreact or whatever. 
I think at, I think if he looked at this clip and had to redo that interview again, he would say the same thing over. That's who he is. He meant what he said, and he stood on his square. That's how he felt. It's, and it's just oh, you just gotta understand everybody. Man. Everybody is not gonna be that tuck you into your in your bed and and, and put a mm-hmm. blanket and pill on you type of guy. Well, you know what that? Bed. You know what you just All right, did. Go ahead, Ken. Yeah, he's he's a Hold on, one mic. I one mic. One mic. Yeah, he's one argument away from being back in prison, though. That, that's what he is, man. He gonna be somebody's goddamn prison bitch again, and that's exactly what's gonna go. Look, I, I we've seen dudes like this before. Talk all this shit, but his ass would be in a fucking fetal position, crying in the fucking bedroom if he lost his girlfriend and got a damn again. Come yeah. on, man. We seen okay. dudes like this. That dude, is that dude God, man. All he takes was Roy raging. Bro. He was Roy raging. So. This is this dude is dangerous, man. He he dangerous. And, and thank you for allowing us to get multiple. I like the way we watch three different segments of him to like it's like developmental to watch him all of a sudden crash the fuck out. Because what we didn't realize is that he is trying to be, and this is what the problem I have with Fresh and Fit. Because I rock with them on some stuff because I believe they have a in the rep in the repair of masculinity and masculinity being put back in the forefront. We have to talk about it in that super aggressive way. But this is bad when it becomes hyper masculinity because he actually did something that was very feminine and something that women do. The second he got opposed and heard a dissenting opinion, he couldn't take it and had to get up out of his seat. He couldn't be disagreed with without going nuts. He couldn't be, oh, damn, sometimes I wish I'm like, man, just get me up on one of these stages. Like, cause, because what he needs to see is somebody, see that dude kind of cowered to him. I'd have stood the fuck up. Like, who you talking to? You you tatted. Like, like, you see what I'm saying? Because it's like, nigga, you ain't got shit. But the Phantom, little dick ass nigga, like, that's, what, that's what he's supposed to hear. Because I don't got, like you can say, I don't got none of that shit. Now I'll wreck you up here. I don't give a, he don't, he's not expecting that. From Pretty somebody good. who doesn't have those things, those Namaste. things define him. You see what I'm saying? I would have demoralized his life. What are your children doing right now? What did they read last night? Fuck that. Like people don't really have the ability to go back at people like that. That's hyper masculinity. I would have given him actual masculinity. What are you putting into this world that you can be proud of? The actual marker of success. I had looked it up. Uh, the actual definition of success is the accomplishment of an aim or purpose. It is going to be something different to every single one of us. I made a goal. I set a standard and I met it. I'm not ashamed of it. I would allow my parents to look on it and be in, look into it and be proud of me. That is my purpose. I have achieved it. My children are safe in their bed. They are fed, right? To, to think about it, to some immigrants, that's everything. <laughs> they they flee in a war torn country. That's everything. They're successful. We're breathing clean air, yeah, right? So I mean that. Oh my gosh, that dude crashed out at the end. So damn bad. Do want to kick him in his? The only thing, trigger trick. I can't let you get away with diminishing the other dude, man. He was in pocket and he was in frame. He did exactly what he was supposed to do. He exposed old boy, and the the calmer the uh, the other gentleman was. The more uh 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 what what's his name Wes, the more upset he got. So nah, I wouldn't have matched that energy. I let him crash out. I would have set my tail right there and continue to speak my speak speak my um uh, my my situation and keep it moving. Nah, dude did exactly what he's supposed to do. Trick or trick. That's true in a sense, but what I'm saying is that dude doesn't expect. You see, how he had to stand up. You see how he had to stand up yeah. to, to get his point across and try to dominate. So, like, like I said, we are different men too. Man, you supposed to pull that. You supposed to pull yeah. that Keisha all the way up out of him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He expected <laughs> the dude not to pull stand baby up. girl all the way up out of him. She just dying to come out. 